nothing but hydrogen. So this is how the early chemist defined what an acid was. And if a substance did not have these properties, it was either a base or it was neither an acid nor, nor a base. That is how the initial chemist defined what an acid was. And then Arrhenius in 1887 for the first time came up with a scientific definition of what an acid is. Okay, he defined as uh, an acid as a substance that was capable of dissociating into and producing hydrogen ions in an aqueous solution. So it dissociated to produce hydrogen ions and it had to have been in an aqueous solution. So a solution that contained water in some form. And a base was something that dissociated into something that gave a hydroxide ion, OH negative. Okay, so again it had to be in a uh, aqueous solution. Uh, the problem with this is, this kind of a definition could work only if there was an aqueous solution. If aqueous solution was not there, this couldn't work. And two, every product substance did not contain an hydrogen atom. So then there's a problem with this definition. So then came out the most commonly accepted form of definitions, the brownstein lorry theory. Again, it was uh, defined in 1923. And here, acid was defined as a substance that donates a hydrogen ion and a base was a substance that accepted this hydrogen ion. Okay, it was called as a conjugate base, which means that always there is a pair. There is a pair of an acid, there's a pair, the pair of a conjugate acid and a conjugate base. And this was very important for this brownstein lorry theory. Nothing existed alone. It existed as a pair of a base and an acid. So acid donated a hydrogen ion and the base accepted this hydrogen ion from the acid and it was called as a conjugate base. It did not require an aqueous solution. That, that, was, that was something like that. And again, they defined as a weak acid and a strong acid. A strong acid was something that had the tendency to donate hydrogen ion very much. So the more the tendency to donate a hydrogen ion, it was the more the strong that acid was. But if a product did not have the tendency to donate hydrogen ion very fast, it was considered to be a weak acid. So which of these theories do you have to use? There are a couple of more other theories. We will not go into that. brownstein lorry theory is what is, seems most physiological, and that is what is most accepted by medical people and also in any of the biological uh, processes that is done. Uh, it, it is simple enough, and this kind of a definition of an acid base would cover almost all uh, biologically present uh, uh, acids and bases that we know of. So carbon dioxide, what about carbon dioxide? It does not contain a hydrogen ion, but we think of it as an acid. And it's, it's, uh, elimination of carbon dioxide is one of the major ways by which acid is excreted out of human body. So why do you call carbon dioxide an acid? Okay, now carbon dioxide is not what is an acid, but what carbon dioxide forms in combination with water is what is an acid, that is H2CO3. 